So Gymshark's coming out with yet another version of Studio and another version of Pause. And as usual, a ton of things have changed, so I'm just like warning you right now, we have a lot to talk about and discuss in today's video. So speaking of Gymshark, and in case you guys missed my Instagram stories, I'm gonna touch base real quick on Sharkmas this year. I know you're probably all wondering like, what the hell? Like it's almost mid-December, where's Sharkmas at? Well, to be honest with you, last year was a little bit crazy with Sharkmas. It was 25 full days, and I struggled with finding a nice healthy balance with giving away Gymshark and spending time with my fam. Like Bay's birthday in December just came and went and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> Sorry, Bae. But anyways, you guys are mad important to me, so we are still doing Sharkmas this year, but it will be 12 days instead of 25. But do not get it twisted, there will be multiple winners for the YouTube giveaways and a few on our Instagram and TikTok as well. So there will be more winners throughout the month to make up for the shorter duration. So you do not wanna miss this. Subscribe to this YouTube channel because the first giveaway will be on YouTube on December 14th. And hit me up on Instagram and TikTok as well because we're having a lot of giveaways on there. All right guys, so let's go ahead and check out what we got going on with this studio and pause, okay? Mm. All right guys, so we're gonna kick it off with the studio. If you're unfamiliar with the studio, well, first and foremost, I did like a bunch of reviews, so check them out. But I believe this is their third version they're coming out with of the studio collection. This is definitely Gymshark's take on more of a bohemian style, very low key, almost yogi, nothing crazy or insane or high impact, nothing that I would personally be going to the gym and lifting weights in. So let's talk some colors real quick. The studio will be coming in this beautiful golden yellow color. We also have a really pretty dusty peach color and staple black. So I have the leggings and sports bras in all of these colors. We'll be trying each and every one on, testing squat proof and things like that. They'll also be coming in a black sweat set. So a hoodie, joggers, I don't have those, but I do have a onesie. Yes, I do, a full length onesie. And they are also coming out with really, really simple camis. So I picked up the black one. They will also have them in the other colors. So yeah, guys, only three different colors, but I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, wait a minute, but it's December. And why are we coming out with yellow and peach? I do agree. <laughs> like, I wish I, I wish we got like a little bit of that silver or blue action going on for the month of December. However, first and foremost, I see you, my Australian babes. You're in like the dead of summer right now, aren't you? Second of all, this is a very, when I go into the detail of the patterns here, it is a very Southwestern style. So I can see why they went with more of those desert vibes. So this whole set is seamless, but if you look up close, you will see that real bohemian style pattern stitching that makes it its own unique collection. So these bras do not come with any padding inside. They are just as is. However, what I do appreciate is Gymshark actually put inserts here. So you can put your own pads in if you feel more comfortable doing that. It is very strappy and low support for sure. I would say, honestly, my size small, it's okay, but I feel like I could almost size down, believe it or not. I just feel like there might be a little extra room right around here, maybe a little extra baggage going on down here. I feel like I could maybe get away with sizing down. I would not wear this to a gym. The leggings were a little bit difficult for me to get up, not gonna lie. I wish that I sized up in these, believe it or not. I feel like these are the most compressive studio leggings they've come out with yet. So get this, I'm really, really freaking upset actually about this. When I was putting these leggings on, they were a little difficult to get right past my hips here, even though they're relatively, they got a little bit of that stretch in it. So in my attempt to get these babies on, my first time trying to get them up, I pulled them, which I shouldn't have done, but I did. And it was run, run Rudolph right down here in my crotch. I do feel like my glutes feel the most compressed in these leggings. So I would definitely, if I could do it all over again, size right on up, especially if you're in between sizes, get up. You do have a really nice high ribbed band. I do feel like there's a good, decent compression. Again, overall, these are more of a moderate, almost higher compression legging. Not so cellulite friendly though. I did see a little bit of shiz going on right here. Not totally squat proof either. I don't see my red undies under here. I'm not seeing red, it's not totally sheer like that, but I am seeing some shadowing in these yellow. So I would probably give it more of a 90% squat proof. 
I do feel like sizing up might solve that problem though. I don't know. So the only design on this new studio is that very bohemian kind of stitch pattern. There's no contour. If you remember the last studio, that real bulky, bold contouring, that's totally gone and there's absolutely nothing here. So the only design on this entire legging is right here on the band and right on the ankle cuff. So bookending the legging. Okay, I thought I would show you an example of where I'm at right now. <laughs> so, before trying to tug these up, this is what I was dealing with before with the yellow and every other color. So what the heck, right here, man, it's just too damn small. You ain't supposed to tug on the band, so let me work my way up. By the way, I'm wearing the studio socks. I don't know if you guys noticed. They're really cute, actually, and they have grip on the bottom, so if you're a yogi babe, check those out. Almost there. Okay, let's see how we looking. Okay, so no runs in this. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, I'm feeling ombre in this. I don't know what it is, I'm just feeling those ombre vibes. It is polyamide, the material, and elastane. So it is very comfortable, the material, very soft, but I just feel like there's no room for my glutes to breathe right here. Some pluses, no dreaded CAT, and a great length, I'm five foot three, so it's nice. Guys, if you have your eye on the black, definitely keep in mind, I'm, I'm gonna say this right here right now, I think this is definitely the tightest of them all. And I just noticed something on the sports bra. So when you turn it inside out, there's actually an internal ruching. It's the same exact ruching as the camo. I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. At first I thought, oh my God, is this reversible? And I don't even know it, but it's definitely not because you do have the inserts for the bra pads here. And I don't think, I don't think you want that showing. So the cami is actually really nice. You have a little more of a higher neck. So it gives a good, decent amount of coverage. It is a little bit of a body fit, but not skin tight where I'm like, the strappy action on the back, it goes so well with the sports bra. It just looks like it's one and the same here. I mean, right? This is so silky, like a buttery silky feel, almost like a velvet. It's got a nice, decent stretch to it. So I highly recommend the camis if you're looking for a cutie patootie. Studio onesie, you guys. Oh, ah. Uh. So man, this is freaking comfortable. I'm not gonna lie, of all the onesies I've ever tried from Gymshark, this is hands down the most comfortable. Just like the tank top, real silky. It's not even the same material as the rest of the studio sets. You do have a couple seams right here and it wraps around back. I do believe the seam right here is a little bit low for my taste. I'd rather no seam or a little bit higher just to make my glutes appear a little bit bigger. I think I could have sized down in this. I feel like there's a little bit of let up right around here. So it's weird, like the leggings size up in and I would definitely size down to this onesie. I'm still wearing my sports bra underneath because there's no padding, no built-in bra or anything like that. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't. I'm, I personally wouldn't be wearing this to a gym or really out and about anywhere. So you're probably wondering since it's winter time, well, is this a thermal or anything? Like I can wear underneath things. You can totally wear it underneath sets, but I would not say it's not thermal at all. It is very wicking though. You can feel the wicking properties. This is very much a breathable type of set, but definitely not insulated. So just like the cami you saw before, you still have that very strappy backing, really pretty. All right guys, now it's time to talk some paws. Now this is already on site, eh? This already dropped a little behind on this one. We got the light brown color. Paws has changed big time. We actually have a waffle texture here, waffle. Let's start with the sports bra. So there's no padding whatsoever. There's no insert for one either. This is just your lounge bra. Very straightforward, strappy, just a very straightforward little lounge bra. Totally true to size. I'm very happy with my size small for this one. The leggings are just a moderate style compression, not for the gym, nothing like that. Again, just loungy. I will have to make note on something though. When putting these leggings on, you really, you feel that waffle texture on your skin inside the leggings. So keep that in mind. It's not just on the outside, you feel it on the inside. You also feel it here a little bit on the bra. For me personally, I am so picky when it comes to the feeling, when it, especially with leggings. Like, if I'm gonna relax and lounge, I better not be feeling textures and stuff. That's just me, man. I'm very, very 
weird like that. The waffle knit gives a little bit of that long john feel, tiny bit of insulation, a little cozy. So it is good for this season. What's really cool is up close, you can see where the waffle texture and pattern kind of stop breaks up into just more of a smooth look. You have a little bit of that here too on the bra. So you have a little subtle contouring with that. There's a really nice amount of stretch in these, way more than the studio in my opinion, because they're more true to size. So that probably has a lot to do with it. So they are a little bit long, as you can see. They do have that pretty curved hem. And keep in mind, they actually have a ton more. This is just the full set. They also have more of a square neck boxy crop. They also have loose fitted shorts, but unfortunately I don't have those. I probably would have opted out for the loose fitted shorts. I'm not totally vibing with these leggings when it comes to just straight lounging, but I would be the one to wear these if I wanted to make more of a lifestyle outfit, go out and about in it. So yeah guys, my overall thoughts, I think the studio is really beautiful. I think this set, the way it's knitted, the bohemian style design, totally up my alley, like I love that. I would say the biggest issue with these is the sizing. So it's not totally your true to size, typical sizing. Again, I hope this video was helpful for you in that department. I do think if I were to size up, then these would be like my best friend right now. As for the paws, I'm obsessed with these bralettes. Like hands down, I think these bralettes are so stinking cute. Give a real earthy vibe, especially this light brown. Definitely consider the leggings if you're looking for more of an athleisure kind of style. I wouldn't necessarily sleep in this, but I would most definitely be styling with this. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I'll have everything listed down below in case you wanna take a closer look. I believe by the time you guys see this, the studio is gonna be on its way to launching. If I didn't mention something in this video, obviously, feel free to comment down below. I'll get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for some sharkness coming your way any day now. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you in my next video. What are you doing, babe? <laughs> Caught red-handed. Filming makes me really hungry. I'm eating a sweet potato. We got sweet potato with mayonnaise. Is that disgusting oh. or no? Yeah, okay. I figured it was, but. What's even more disgusting is this wrinkly chicken. Look at that. Oh my God. It looks like it was in the shower for too long. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's time to talk some paws. Now this shit's already on site. <laughs> Waffle on my ass. <laughs> what are you doing? Yoga pose. Oh, Lord.